We have to learn to live with COVID-19 for a better place due to the success of the vaccination programme across this country. We have to focus on the vaccine and on test and protect because we can't force more restrictions back onto the people of Scotland and we know it would risk their mental health and result in job losses. Barry McCulloch of the Federation of Small Businesses, appearing before a Scottish Parliament committee this morning, said, I think many small business owners are quite naturally concerned about the prospect of further restrictions and lockdowns. He said businesses were in survival mode, and he's right. We need the Scottish Government to listen to our businesses and respond to their concerns. Our NHS is nearing breaking point too. People can't see their GP in person, they're waiting hours on end for an ambulance, and they're being told to stay away from a &E departments, and even if they get in, they're facing horrendously long waits. But let's be clear, COVID is not overwhelming our NHS, as the First Minister said in her statement. It's her Health Secretary's failures that are overwhelming our NHS. He's shown poor leadership, inaction, and delays that have overwhelmed our health service. And the First Minister has just announced her plans to introduce vaccine certification. But just a month ago, John Swinney, her Cabinet Secretary for COVID recovery, said this was the wrong way to handle it. So can I ask the First Minister, what's changed in the last month from what John Swinney said then to her announcement today? When will the Scottish Government provide businesses with specific guidance on how to manage the scheme? And will they be expected to police it themselves? If so, will there be further government support provided to them? And finally, the First Minister said she would not introduce this to hospitality venues at the moment, but would keep that under review. Will she ensure there is meaningful dialogue with the hospitality sector during that period, listen to their concerns, and if she does believe vaccine certification is required in hospitality venues, will that also require a vote in Parliament and parliamentary approval? I, I hope the, the First Minister was able to catch um, the questioning clearly. First Minister. Uh, uh, forgive me, uh, President Officer, I did hear the question. I'm not sure what the, the noise in the background was, um, but uh, I'm sure it was understandable, whatever uh, it, it was. Um, can I say, uh, let me try to take the questions in, in turn. Um, I, I think it is really important for all of us, though, to focus on uh, the, the detail and the complexities of this. 